Coming in from out of province, I was really nervous about finding a place to live. So knowing that I had a place guaranteed as a first year in residence was really helpful. One of the most helpful resources is the front desk. They're open at V1 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So it's really great if you get locked out of your room or if you want to rent a board game. They'll also help you print stuff and send out packages. So anything that's general about residents, they can help you with. Village One has the SLC, the Student Life Center, really close by. So that's where all the clubs are. From the SLC, there's tons of tunnels. So it's really easy to get anywhere you want to go, especially in the cold. I can get up 30 minutes before class. In traditional style residences like V1, everyone has a meal plan. Uh, and meal plans for campus housing are really great because you're able to use them at all food services locations. The eatery for V1 is Wendy's, but you're also able to use your meal plan at all food service locations. So at Starbucks, at Subways, I really love DC Bites. They offer great Pokeballs. So I'm very excited about those. Your meal plan also comes with flex dollars. And flex dollars you can use everywhere where Wattcard is accepted. So you can use it to pay for your textbook. Uh, you also use it for the laundry, printing around campus. And with flex dollars, food services also partners up with local restaurants. So you can use your flex dollars outside campus. There are communal spaces all around Village One. There are bigger commun communal spaces in the main building for everyone, but there are also communal spaces in each building. So it's really nice to have larger spaces to hang out with people and then smaller spaces to build like a closer tight-knit community within your building. The community is made up of first-year students and a few upper-year students called Residence Life Dons. Oh, I really didn't think the first year dons were going to be as helpful as they are. My Don, Jill, she's the greatest. She plans community events all the time. And it was really helpful to make friends and get to know people in my building. One really great thing about safety in residence is having the duty dons. Duty dons are available from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. They're really great because you can call them to deal with noise complaints or other situations that you don't feel equipped to deal with. In the late hours of the night, you don't have to be confrontational with anyone. Certain programs in residence have living learning communities, and in a living learning community, you're assigned a peer leader, which is kind of like a tutor, kind of like a connection to your faculty. And then you also get to live with other people in your program and then engage with a peer leader and they'll connect you to professors or help you with content. So that's really great. I chose to live in residence because I wanted to make my first year as comfortable and as easy as possible. And I felt that residence was the place for that. I am from out of province. So finding my own residence, I felt was going to be really challenging, not knowing the city that I was moving into. So if you're a transfer student or a first year, you're guaranteed a place in residence. I know all the people on my floor and quite a few of the people on upper floors. Residence just has tons of supports that make everything just so much easier. Like you have academic supports, the upper year students, the dons, they're really helpful. There's also so much to get involved in residence. I'm part of the residence council, so we get to host a ton of fun events.